a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country Trinidad and Tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth Trinidad and Tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean sea in this part 56 video out of body experiences falls and looking at the deception brothers and sisters I want to explain you the deception that is taking place now this could happen in the hospital or at home I will use who I will use continue using the hospital because a lot of people say they are more they are more because they seems that they have in the outer body experience more frequent in the hospital than any other place but outer body experience is false is that a lie brothers and sisters so I continue teaching you all many people will say they went in the hospital in some car vehicle or some accident or there was attended for appointment for surgery and when there was an anesthetic that unconscious state they came out of the body as a spirit form in a spirit being form and they was conscious and they were seeing the doctors operating on them a lot of them say they left the hospital in a spirit form because the THD is not the body was they was looking down at the body and the travel not on, not on, not only on top of this the hospital building but a lot of them say they travel further away from the hospital a lot of them say they went back home so let me use an example a, let us say it is a woman the woman might say the woman is living in Texas and the hospital is in Texas right she went in the hospital on a Friday Friday this is as an example she went in the hospital on Friday the 6th of July Saturday the 7th of July 2018 she was on the operation table the doctor was operating on her that's a Saturday July 7 At around 1.50 p.m. after lunchtime, 1.50 p.m., she says she came out of her body in a spirit form and she, she left the hospital and she went back home 10 miles away from where the hospital is. From, from Houston, from Dallas, Texas, from, from the capital, right? She went 10 miles away, which part of home is in the, in the, um, from the hospital in Texas but when she went home when she reached home when she when she reached home so she left the hospital um, let us say 1 50 p.m. she reached home about 2 o'clock 10 minutes she reached home about 2 o'clock or 10 or, or, or um, she left the hospital let us say let us say 2 2 p.m she reached home five minutes past two traveling invisible according to them but when she reached home she saw one of her she saw one of her brother she saw one of her brother was in the gallery sitting on a chair shaving shaving but her brother was unaware that sh that his sister was in the house invisible watching him shaving but in the time when he was home in the gallery shaving was about 10 past 2 10 past 2 he was shaving right so she traveled back to the hospital and enter back in her body according to what they are saying so she reached back in the hospital about 15 past 2 15 past 2 p.m. right so when when the doctors move her from the from the operation from the theater and she regained back consciousness she regained back on the belly body then she gained back consciousness well according to them she gained back consciousness and awareness and they put she up in the ward and she said sit down the chair she called the doctors and said you know I left my body Saturday about 
a little after two and I went home and I saw my brother who was in the gallery shaving. She said she then the then the doctors are say, but you was under anesthetic. You was in an unconscious state. Oh you could leave your body and travel home. What the doctors are saying is true. She was under anesthetic, unconscious. She could not know her brother was shaving that very Saturday when they was attending to her. But this what she is telling the doctors. So the doctors are saying. So the, she will tell the doctors have an outer body experience. And a lot of the doctors who don't believe in outer body experience will begin accepting her story and begin accepting what she has seen. The doctors all say, let us confirm whether your brother was home a little after two the Saturday and he was really shaving in the gallery. So they will contact the brother when she gives, she will call her brother through the telephone or they will, she will give the doctor the telephone number of her home and call her brother a little later in the day. And the, the brother will confirm, yes, I was home in a gallery shaving. So the information that she gave them was true. And they confirm it, the brother confirm it. So because of that, they will say, yes, you know, this outer body experience is really true. What these people and them really telling us is true. They really come out the body in a spirit form, invisible to us, watching the body at the same time, seeing the operating on them, and they're leaving the hospital, going on top of the ceiling, on top of the hospital building, and seeing different items on top of the building, hospital building, whether there's a lock or a cup or a lock, or whether there's a doll on top there, or whether there's a dead pigeon, they are seeing these things. But further than that, they had to travel further away. They leave in the hospital compound, and they could go back home in the comfort of the home and see the family members cooking, shaving, sweeping out the house, etc. And, et and because of that, they are saying that's the evidence that outer body experience is true and what these spirit people are saying is true. But brothers and sisters, all that is a lie and a deception. So then, I want to prove to you all that when that person was under anesthetic, that person was unconscious and did not know anything. That woman did not leave no hospital and no spirit then came out of, no spirit immortal, no spirit immortal being, having a form and shape as a body and having consciousness, then came out the body and traveled no way invisible and went back, and she then went back to she um, home in a spirit form. That's a lie. So then how did the woman know when she gained consciousness now and sitting up in the room and speaking to the doctors, how did she know her brother was shaving about five past two in his gallery? So simple. That woman have an invisible angel, an invisible being with her. What the invisible being do, the invisible, which is the fallen angels, evil spirit, one of the fallen angels who are using the woman to perpetuate that lie, left the hospital and travel back home is where the woman is. And saw her brother shaving at exact 2 p.m. or a little 5 past 2. And travel back in the hospital and reveal the information to the woman. And the woman now call the doctors and tell the doctors, Is I who came out my body in a spirit form and went back home and saw my brother shaving. It wasn't she, it was the invisible angels. Travel to the home faster than the speed of light. I mean faster, faster than the speed of song, although some of them travel faster than the speed of light too. Travel back home, beside the woman was, saw her brother shaving in the gallery and came back and revealed that information to the woman. So the woman will call the doctors and tell her, I went back home and saw my brother shaving. The doctors will call her brother to confirm it and he will confirm it. But it's not she. It's the fallen angel that gave her that, that um, that information but the, the doctors and them are seeing the woman they naturally they're not seeing no invisible angels around the woman so naturally the doctors will accept what the woman are saying now because the information that she give them they confirm it by personally calling the brother and talking him onto the phone phone that he was exactly 2 p.m or 5 past 2 p.m outside in the gallery shaving and she could not know that because she was under anesthetic and unconscious state. You see, the fallen angels who, who left her in the hospital, travel back with such a living, saw her brother shaving and bring the information to she, and she just give the information to the doctors. So by the doctors having that accurate information, or believe now, is she spirit that came out of her body and went there back home 
and saw her brother and then travel back in her body and then give them the information. So because of that, the doctors and them saying that information that she gave them, she could not know that why she was in the hospital. So they will say, well, yes, that's the evidence now that outer body experience is taking place, which is a total lie. It's not no outer body experience. It's fallen angels using these people and giving them the information and fooling and tricking the doctors in the process. You see the deception? And that is the deception, my brothers and sisters. You see the trick? Is that a trick, a deception? And all these people are being used by evil spirit, the fallen angels, to perpetuate that lie. And what is the lie that the fallen angels are using them to perpetuate? God say that you are flesh and blood, and that when you die, you lose consciousness, and you will be resurrected in a future resurrection, because there's life after that, but in a future resurrection. The fallen angels are working through them to say opposite to what God say. The fallen angels are working through these people to say that man is not a physical body, that man is a, is a spirit entity having form and shape like the body, but an immortal spirit being having form and shape as the body that dwell in the body and when this body die they come out out of the body and they could travel in the invisible world and go far far away they see different places acquire information and then come back in the physical body the fallen angels are using these people to perpetuate that lie to oppose what the truth that god is saying about the true state of man that man is flesh and blood and that when a person die, he, he lose consciousness. The fallen angels are working through these people to say that they are not a body, that they are a spirit being in the body. And when they come out of the body in a spirit, in a spirit being formed, they possess consciousness. And they could travel in the physical world unseen. And plus in the invisible world, the spirit world unseen. That's what the fallen angels are using these people to perpetuate that lie and deception, brothers and sisters. It is a total lie. And let us reject it all right, all right, in the mighty name of Jesus. We book it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we accept the truth of God that man is flesh and blood. And when he die, he lose consciousness. Yes, there's life after that in a future resurrection when God will give you back your consciousness in a future resurrection. Hallelujah. Bless God. His words is true. The Bible is true. Man is not no spirit being. Man is not no spirit immortal being in a body, brothers and sisters. Because man himself is a body. And since man himself is a body, man cannot come out his body to have any experience, brothers and sisters. So there is no outer body experience. It is a total lie, my brothers and sisters. And I show you all the deception that is taking place. May God help you all to come to that reality and understand what I'm explaining to you. So you too all will recognize that deception and rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and accept the truth of God as is mentioned in the book of Genesis. Brothers and sisters, that man is flesh and blood, and man is not no spirit being inside the body. Man is the body. Brothers and sisters, may God help us all. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends.